Welcome everyone, you may own an Xbox Series X and when you're trying to download games, you know it's not working. So let's go through why that could be the, the case and how to fix it. So first of all, uh, if you would click on the Xbox logo, My Games and Apps, Seal, you can see that at the bottom it shows the storage free. However, here's the thing. If you have multiple games queued to download, this isn't going to deduct all of the storage automatically. What does that mean? So let's say you have three games and you know all those three games are around 200 gigs uh, total. So 50, 50, and then 100 gig. The game which is queued to install will only deduct the total storage, which means that let's say I have 152.2 gig free because that 50 gig game is downloading. That means that 150 gig worth of storage is going to be taken up, will not show up. So what this means in English is you may not have enough storage on your Xbox Series S, even though at the bottom it shows you have enough storage. So the best bet, if you're in a situation where you're going to have to clear up, you know, any screen recordings, uh, you know, you may have to delete some games. Don't forget, guys, you only have 512 gig on the Xbox Series S, and that may sound like a lot, 512 gig. But then you realize that each game like Call of Duty Warzone is 200 gig. So really you have like two Call of Duty Warzones to be able to download. So 500 gig isn't really that much. I, I have on my Series X personally, the main console I use, I have two terabytes and I'm 800 gig left. And like, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even use a terabyte. So a lot of respect if you are able to use 512 gig. However, you're just gonna have to uh, either delete games from the queue. So what you do in order to do that is just go to, uh, you just go back, start, my games and apps, seal and then there should be at the bottom here manage queue so what you're going to do is if there's any apps in the queue and stuff like that you don't want to get you just want to click on start to them so we'll just show it here in the updates click on start and then there'll be an option to cancel the download now while you're here as well the uh, situation may be that you're not you know having issues with storage but there's other stuff downloading which is blocking the stuff you want to download to start and that's why it's not downloading so what you're going to do is you go back to the queue and you just want to find the stuff which is like not at the top, not currently downloading. You just select it, click on start, and then there should be an option which says install now. You click on install now, and it's going to basically, and the thing you're downloading now is going to stop. Any other stuff that was in the queue before, it's going to be pushed down. And that game and app you're trying to download is going to start downloading right away. So uh, just make sure you do that if you haven't already. And the final thing as well is you may have started to download on an account which uh, you may have signed out of or something like that. So here's the deal. You're going to click on the Xbox logo here. You're going to navigate to RB. You're going to click on add or switch. And you can see I have two accounts on my Xbox Series S. Let's say I bought the new Call of Duty Vanguard on this account. You want to stay signed in to this account, the one you you know paid for Call of Duty Vanguard on, until the game's downloaded. So if you switch the account, you just want to switch it back just like that, and uh, you'll be good to go. Now, if you've tried all that stuff, the bit, you know, the final thing, is to just try a force restart. It sounds weird, but honestly, guys, all you do, hold down the Xbox logo, navigate to uh, turn off console here, turn the console, and once you've turned it off, you just want to unplug your Xbox Series S on the power for 30 seconds, plug it back in, turn it back on, and see if that solves the issue. Now, I will also have Microsoft's direct support line in the description, so if you like, try all this stuff and it's still not working, you can always call them up, text them, stuff like that, email them, and uh, you should get the problem solved. So uh, hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.